Hey kids, today we're building an animal park with a cat enclosure, a semi-aquatic animal enclosure, and an African animal enclosure. <gasps> Who have we got? It's a giraffe. Did you know that giraffes are the tallest mammals on the earth? Their legs are taller than most humans. Wow, don't forget to close the gate. Another animal has arrived. Who's this? It's a polar bear. Polar bears are semi-aquatic animals because they live on the land and in the water. Polar bears prefer colder waters and live in the Arctic. We've got another animal here. Who is it? Roar! It's a lion. The lion belongs to the cat family, so let's pop them in here in the cat enclosure. Oh, we've got another animal. Who's this in the bag? It's a crocodile. Crocodiles that live in Australia live on the land and in the water. Crocodiles are generally faster in the water. Wow, look at those teeth. Don't forget to close the gate. Who have we got here? It's a tiger. The tiger is also part of the cat family. So let's pop them in here with the lion. We've got another animal here. Who is it? It's a zebra. Zebras are African animals. Zebras like to live in small families that belong to bigger groups of zebras. These are called herds. Don't forget to close the gate. All oh, the cars here. Who's in the back? It's a penguin. Did you know that emperor penguins are the tallest and heaviest penguins in the world? Let's pop the water inside this enclosure. Don't forget to close the gate. Whoops, and that one too. The car's here. Who's that in the back? It's a cheetah. A cheetah is also part of the cat family. Cheetahs have an average of 2,000 to 3,000 spots. Oh, who's this? It's an African elephant. And as you may have guessed, this elephant is from Africa. So let's open up the enclosure and pop them in here with the other African animals. Don't forget to close the gate. What animal has arrived now? It's a leopard. Leopards are also part of the cat family. So let's pop them in here next to the cheetah. Don't forget to close the gate. All oh, the calves here. Who's that in the back? It's an okapi. Did you know that okapis are also found in Africa and like to eat leaves, grasses and fruit? Wow! Don't forget to close the gate. Oh, who's in the back? It's a sloth. Did you know that sloths are strong swimmers? Sometimes they'll drop down from the trees into their water and use their arms to propel them through the water. Don't forget to close the gate. <gasps> the car's here. Who's that in the back? It's a hippopotamus. A hippopotamus is an African animal. Did you know that hippopotamuses can hold their breath underwater for five minutes? Don't forget to close the gate. <gasps> Who's in the back? It's a serval. The serval is also a part of the cat family. So let's pop them in here next to the leopard. Don't forget to close the gate. <gasps> the car's here. Who's that in the back? It's 
an ostrich. An ostrich is also an African animal. Did you know that ostriches can run up to 70 kilometers per hour? Wow! <gasps> Who's in the back? It's an antelope. An antelope is also from Africa. Antelopes like to eat bushes, small trees, or graze on grass. Don't forget to close the gate. All the cars here. Who's that in the pack? It's a seal. Seals tend to spend half their time in the water and half their time on land. On land, they are able to rest don't forget to close the gate. All the cars here, who have we got in the back? It's a flamingo. Flamingos are found in Asia and Europe, but a large number of them are found in Africa. So let's pop them in here with the African animals. Don't forget to close the gate. Oh, who's in the back? Oh, it looks like we've got a few animals. It's a baby lion, a baby cheetah, and a baby tiger. Okay, let's open up the gate and match the babies with their parents. This is the baby cheetah going with their mum. And let's get the tiger to go with their mum. And last of all, we've got the lion cub who can go with his dad. Hi, Dad. Don't forget to close the gate. <gasps> Who's in the back? It's a hyena. Hyenas are Africa's most common large carnivores. That means that they like to eat meat. Don't forget to close the gate. <gasps> the car's here. Who's that in the back? It's an otter. River otters spend half their time in the water and half their time on land. Don't forget to close the gate. <gasps> Who's this flying in? It's an eagle. Nice landing. All the cars here. Who's in the back? It's an African wild dog. African wild dogs like to gather in packs of around 10 dogs, but some can reach up to 40. Don't forget to close the gate. <gasps> Who's in the back? It's a jaguar. Jaguars are also part of the cat family and have the strongest bite of a cat their size. Don't forget to close the gate. <gasps> the car's here. Who's in the back? It's a beaver. Beavers also like to live on land and in water. They use their tail to propel them through the water. Don't forget to close the gates. <gasps> Who have we got in the back? It's a meerkat. Meerkats live in the deserts and grasses of the southern tip in Africa. They are very cute with bushy brown striped fur. <gasps> Who have we got in the back? It's a black jaguar. The black jaguar is also part of the cat family so let's pop them in here. Don't forget to close the gate. <gasps> Who have we got in the back? It's a fennec fox. Fennec foxes are found in North Africa and are also known as desert foxes because they love the desert. Whoops, let's pick him up. Don't forget to close the gate. All the cars here. What animal do we have in the back? It's a platypus. Platypus live both on land and in water. They are about 50 centimeters in length and covered with waterproof fur. Oh, what animal do we have in the back? It's a warthog. Warthogs live in Africa and like to live near waterholes. Don't forget to close the gate. 
Whoops, there we go. Now the zoo is finally finished, we have our visitors arriving. I hope they enjoy the animals. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching kids. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.